Top 10 Reasons Why We Explore Space We humans are about to take the most ambitious step into the new era of space. But still, most often I see a lot of people texting and commenting on my Instagram page that Space exploration is complete waste of money and time. Instead, government should focus on serious issues like uh, poverty or unemployment. So, I think there is a need to understand the reasons why are we exploring space. Why are the most intelligent brains of our world interested in exploring space? So, here is our first video on YouTube dedicated to brief out the top 10 reasons on why we explore space. Number 10. Asteroids and comets don't care about us. As we all know 66 million years ago how a meteor, a comet or an asteroid wiped out 75% life on earth. Imagine. On one fine morning, you get out of your house and see an asteroid as huge as the size of a football ground approaching right in front of you. One big doom boom and we all are set to join the extinct community. Hence, we must race to develop high-end technologies in order to protect our Earth from interstellar threats. Number 9. It will lead to more great inventions. 20th century was full of inventions and technological development. Now it's not possible to live without them. Think about a world without satellites, with no internet, no entertainment shows, no GPS, no accurate weather updates. Even imagining it is difficult. As a very popular proverb goes, necessity is the mother of all inventions. At a time in the last century, we needed to send humans in space. Ventures like this lead us to a long list of discoveries and inventions that indirectly fed back to economy and enrich the quality of life we live in. It's only because of these space programs we now have solar cells, water filters, wireless headset, fixed dry foods, camera phones, baby food, air purifiers, workout machines, ice resistant aeroplanes, portable computer, LEDs, CAT scan, padded tires, firefighting equipment, artificial limbs, and satellites to name a few inventions which not only save life but save our planet. Number 8. It will be good for your health. Confused? Let me answer this for you. International Space Station is a good example where astronauts perform research on advanced telemedicine, nutrition, cell behavior, psychological stress system, environmental health, aging, etc some of which are only possible in microgravity. Another example I can give off is about cool space suit which was developed by NASA during Apollo mission is now helping patients with multiple cellulosis to manage their disease. Or the high resolution imaging techniques that allows doctor to peep into your body and were developed by a technique used by NASA to enhance my pictures. Similarly, I can get you a number of examples which ultimately benefited the scientists on Earth to test improve and develop their work on medicines and health-centric devices, as well as save tens of thousands of lives every year. Number 7. Space exploration is inspirational. Few decades ago, before Apollo mission, people thought going to moon was a lunatic vision, but just when Neil Armstrong and his crew landed on moon for the first time, everything went magical. It was so big of a step that some people still can't believe it. This one giant leap instilled a rush of motivation among the hearts of tender minds. Our human ambitions are always connected to inspiration. Young kids look for great people and want to be like them. As Kobe Bryant said, greatness is measured by how you inspire people, not by money. Humans are known for pushing their limits one step ahead, so if you don't do it, the next generation will possibly find none among us great to get inspired from. Number 6. It's important for national security. Satellites are our eyes from space and there are almost 2,666 active satellites revolving around Earth. They can easily see something 5 inches or larger on the ground thus providing a country with national and international securities. It is because of these space programs, we have various communication satellites, global navigation systems, and accurate location-guided missiles. So, it is of great interest that a nation use it for its security. Number 
Number 5. Space mining could save the world. From air pollution to land pollution, mining is directly or indirectly responsible for major damage to Earth's health. And on top of that, our Earth is a finite resource for our growing needs and population. Hence, constraining us with the only choice, seek the infinite space mining. Space mining offers the possibility to revolutionize this industry at the same time. It is economically feasible as the asteroids contains all types of high value minerals in enough proportion. Well, this could be a game changer for humans. Number 4 United Nations With different religions, cultures, languages, races, borders, we are no longer just humans. But when astronauts look at this giant blue marble, nothing matters, no limits, no differences. Isn't that beautiful? And space is one such wonderful opportunity which unites humans irrespective of all the differences. ISS is again a great example. US and Russia are always in some political conflicts but still, at ISS, astronauts and cosmonauts of both countries work together for a greater purpose. It's also favorable in terms of employment generation in both nations. Number 3. It could help answer a really big question. Recently, we got news of first sign of life on Venus. Similarly, NASA scientists just discovered a molecule on Saturn's largest moon, Titan, which could be responsible for life born on Earth some three and a half billion years ago. So, don't limit yourself. Ask, are we alone in this vast universe? Can we time travel? How our universe was formed? Well, we humans are always curious by nature. We have this lust for learning interesting and important stuff. Perhaps that's the reason why you are still hooked to our video. We are still on the journey to find the cause of birth of everything we see. Our improvements in space technologies such as James Webb Space Telescope can give us answers to these questions. Number 2. We are explorers. Former NASA Administrator Michelle Griffin differentiated between acceptable reasons and real reasons for space exploration. Acceptable reasons would be issues like economical benefits and national security, but real reasons include concepts like curiosity, competitiveness, and monument building. He added, when we do things for real reasons as opposed to acceptable reasons, we produce our highest achievements. Being a human is all about that. Number 1. Colonization is the ultimate backup. Our growing population, rampant greed, and thoughtlessness about environmental consequences have already done pretty severe damage to our planet. Scientists estimated that Earth has a carrying capacity between 8 to 16 billion, and we already have a population of over 7.2 billion. If something happened, our species could be wiped out. Colonizing other bodies in the solar system is a way to create a backup of humanity that will ultimately survive.